Good morning. Welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies game development stream. My name is David Stark. I'm the developer of Airships. And uh, today I'll be doing some streaming on continued work of adding more spiders to the game. So what do I mean by that? What I really mean by that is that I'm working on making the code that drives crew members and stuff like that more data driven so it's an easier to add new types of crew like spiders and other monsters I was working on that um, like uh, the last room as well the reason why I'm still working on this is that um, airship 7.3 kind of went in at the middle um, so actually for the last like uh, two weeks I've been working on bug fixes and um, the tutorial. The reason for that is simply that there was a uh, competition I wanted to submit a game to and for that competition I really wanted the game to have a tutorial and so that had to come first. So you know that's kind of the thing with uh, game development you might think oh you know you can just sit down and make the game but in practice you have all of these weird external things like competitions like um, you know um, PR related stuff otherwise um, like um, random platforms it doesn't work off and you use else channels and so on which means that sometimes like stuff just randomly pauses or stuff comes out in a weird priority um, so that's kind of why um, but now that's over I hope to kind of forge ahead and really get into the meat of Dev8 okay well um, that's enough talking for now let's have a look at the code also let's have a look at me <laughs> Boy. hello okay so um, first and foremost we need to go into the correct branch Yeah. So um, I use Git and um, different versions get to be put on different branches. And so 7.3 is in fact on a different branch to uh, version 8. At some point I have the pleasure of merging those two branches of development as well. But I'm not going to do that now because it will be incredibly boring to watch. Okay, so here we are. Yeah, edit the tool, so here's the animation viewer. And everything's gone horribly wrong. Excellent, I like it, I like it. Um, all right, yeah, that's because I'm in the middle of working on um, adding some values. Um, yeah, so the point is that I needed to add width and height as values to the actual animation bundle, because right now they're still hard-coded. And I apparently got to the point where I put in the code for loading them. But then I put in the code, for, I didn't actually put them into the data yet. And that's, that's bad. Okay, so very first thing, let's just have a look. That was in animation bundle. Yeah. Right, so the animation bundle is basically a set of um, animations for a particular body plan. And that set of animations kind of been skinned using different animation appearances. So at the moment we have two bonds of human and spider. And yeah, I've added width and height here, but evidently I didn't yet get around to adding it to the... Uh, one moment, the cat is destroying something.
Okay, here I am again. Um, our cat's leveled up and kind of jumped one shelf higher, which means that um, all of those like things which were previously safe from him are now no longer safe, so he was just in the process of trying to smash some water glasses. Hey, right. Um, yeah. With the night, um, and they are still in crew, man. You can see they are somewhere they are hard coded honest unless i took that out already no here they are yeah so they're hard coded here so a crew man is apparently five wide and 13 tall and that's still hard coded, so let's de hard code that as the first thing. So in animation bundle, here we have human and spider. Right. Just reorganize that a bit as well. Um, this is, was all exported from the original version of the values. And so they're kind of, um, all the keys are alphabetical, which is lovely, but of course not really helpful. Right, body plan human, name human, name should even be at the top. There we go, now, width is, we set 5, and height is 13. Right, and spiders, I am actually not sure. So we're going to just pick some numbers, and then we can kind of adjust them until they're no longer wrong. So we're just going to say spiders have a width of 12 and a height of 10. That's probably wrong, but who cares, I just want this to load and then I can eyeball things and visually adjust them. So now hopefully if I load up things again, it should no longer, the animation view should actually work again. Yeah. Almost. Um, I made a mistake in spider.json, but these guys work again. Okay, so spider.json. Yeah. You're telling me. Looks all right to me. Character zero, line seven, supposedly. Which is here. Um, what? Oh, finally. Right. Ta da! So, what I get for having this index highlighting reload? Finally. So now, like. Here's our spider. Great stuff. Um, so that value, that width and height now, aren't actually being used anywhere in the code yet. So that's the next thing that needs to happen, is um, basically ripping out the W and the H and um, replacing them with references to the um, to the width and height of the animation bundle. And the other slightly more tricky thing is that um, there's probably also some offsets in there which are kind of derived from this, which will also need to be replaced. Okay, so for starters, let's just put this out. And then we will see uh, in a moment, the ID will like light up a whole bunch of problems. There we go. Yep.
Yeah, so now here we are referring to the width and the height we loaded in. Okay, uh, now we still have problems. So one problem is that I definitely know that in some of the draw code we're using just made up um, offsets. There we go, eight and two, right? Uh, <laughs> and that's, those are just nonsense values. Um, we should be, um, that should be plus. Mm -hmm. And Right, I think that's correct. Now, somewhere else, apparently, we're using this logic. Okay, we're using it in true physics. Uh, that ought to be relatively easy. That's just. I'll be using it in troops visual layer as well for some reason. Okay, so we've now gone over all of this code and removed any reference to this. And now we do the thing where we basically just check, um, you know, does everything still work? Does everyone still render in the place they're meant to be rendering? It looks like they are. Yeah, that's okay. Elegant. Awesome. That's a very nice building action there. Right, so that still works. Now the next thing we need to do on the basis of this information is actually um, adjust all the offsets for all the spider animation bits and adjust the size of the actual spider animation so that works correctly. And to be able to do that, we just need to go into uh, Animation Viewer. We basically need to draw the um, the bounding rectangle. Yeah, I think that will do it. Yeah. So you can see the bounding rectangle relative to where everything is. Now you can see like the spider is completely mispositioned, right? Like the bounding rectangle, obviously the spider's legs can go outside of its bounding rectangle, that's entirely incorrect, but um, the poor spider is basically in the wrong place. Um, so I think eyeballingly he has to be a little bit taller. Yeah, I'd add another two pixels to the height. 
the width is probably okay. So really you should just make it a whole tile wide. Okay. So we can adjust that. So height of 12 and width of 16. Load that back in. Now we get a bigger bounding rect. Now we just need to get the pull spider um, the pull spider's offsets to be correct. Um, Going to try and get that right. I'm just gonna like fiddle with this quickly. So if I moved the bounding rectangle two to the right, that would center the spider. So we need to move all of the spider bits two to the left. And if then we move the bounding rectangle down by like, I don't know, six or something. No, that was too much. Four. Still too much. 3.5. No, that's good. Okay, so now we go into the spider animation. Okay, so all the X coordinates need to be reduced by two, and all the Y coordinates need to be reduced by 3.5. So let's just do the Xs first. Save and reload. Right now, yeah, now the spider's nicely centered. So now we need to reduce all the Y coordinates by 3.5. And then our spider will essentially have like, um, will actually be positioned right if we draw him. Okay. So that's um, 4.5, exactly zero. Yes, I just used a calculator for that. Why? Because no. I'm not proud and I like not having to chase down alignment errors. Okay, there we go, spider bro, spider bro. Now 
Though I actually think um, the bounding box is too tall. So reduce the bounding box by one, move everything up by another pixel. Let's do that. Height 11. So if we do that, then um, yeah, so all the wires need to go down by another one. I think that's good. Okay, so actually the next thing which I want to try as kind of a nice payoff is now that we've got this kind of well-behaved spider animation, I'd really just like to see it in-game. Um, so we're going to turn one of the crew types into spiders. Now we only have the standing animation right now. and uh, So I'm going to put in a little bit of code first that basically lets us... Um, Um, makes the crew animator just pick the standing animation. Oh, it does that already. Brilliant. Complains bitterly that it's with just a standing animation. So that works. I'll just take that out because otherwise it will spam endless messages. Okay, so we're going to go into crew type and we're going to. Um, Done. I've already changed crew type to be data driven. I forgot about that. That's nice. Thought I still had to do that. Crew. Um, we're going to change all of the air sailors to be spiders. So they're going to have the uh, animation appearance of wolf spider. Yeah. See how that goes. If they're zoomed in enough, like if they're zoomed out, then they'll st still act as um, they'll still look like crew just to confuse matters yeah look <laughs> um, behold the ships now fully uh, fully crewed by spiders Here they are, palping away, moving around ammunition, like operating weaponry. Yeah, spiders, spider crew. Adorable and incredibly frightening. Well done. Um, but yeah, it works, right? Oh, and here's a spider up on the... Uh, In the crow's nest. Just spidering away. Adorable. Okay, so fundamentally this all works now. I think I say fundamentally this all works now far too often. That basically means like, look, look at me, look at me, I did some work. The spidery limbs kind of poke out of the side of the ships, which is a lot, but no, oh, whatever. Look at him! Mm -hmm. Adorable. Okay. So that's all working. Now I have a uh, big list of additional um, values which basically need putting into the JSON um, next because there's still a whole bunch of hard-coded stuff in there. So the next steps are basically going to be moving all of these things into the hard-coded, uh, into the data-driven stuff 
and then moving um, and then basically adding more animations to spiders um, as it happens even though it's only been half an hour I think this is actually a good stopping point because uh, the next piece of work is really gonna be just me um, rewriting a whole bunch of code over and over again and um, so yeah I think I'll actually cut this particular stream short at this point um, but I hope you found it interesting. I hope you found the spiders just as adorable as I did for some reason. And I will see you in the future. Uh, next planned stream is on Monday. I will be playing some kind of game and talking about it. Um, as I do, um, last, last time around I played um, Crypt of the Necrodancer and Binding of Isaac and... Dungeons of Dreadmon kind of compare them in points of uh, kind of how they use positioning in 2D space um, to create interesting gameplay situations. Um, basically said bad things about Dungeons of Dreadmon, sorry. Um, yeah, so do check that out um, and do um, follow this stream if you enjoy it and I will potentially see you on Monday. Bye for now.